That's the uh, forthcoming single from Nick Cave from his album Nocturama. That's called Bring It On. That's great. I, I must admit, I was a latecomer to Nick Cave. He's I was, extraordinary, yeah. I, I mean, years into his solo stuff before, you know, I decided that he was brilliant. Mm, yeah, he's fantastic. No, he's, he's fantastic. Um, I had some exciting news this week, Carl. You'll be pleased yeah. to find out. Um, I, I, I'm worried that you might get a little bit jealous because it's obviously going to impact on your world quite strongly. Because I know you think you like things to be quite, the, quite sa you know, samey. You like the status quo to be maintained. You like the fact that in the past, you know, we've had some crosswords. You know, because you've. I remember. What did you think of me when I first walked in? When I first came in on the yeah, first well, day. Of I don't know why you're making a big deal. Do you want to bring? Because, it, do you I, I'm just, just being honest, though. I'm just well, being honest about a lot of people who see you for the first time sort of go, "Well, he's a bit weird." <laughs> Ooh, ooh, I know ooh. that that's Steve that you brought it up, and then you're again. But I'm sure that wasn't what he said before. No, did he, he said before. I, yeah, yeah, well, well he's I, a bit weird. Yeah, well, I, he looked at you, and uh, I knew I could see by the look in his face. You know when uh, when you know your your kid, and your kid's sort of scared of something, and they go, "Why is your kid?" goes, "Oh, he doesn't like pigeons or spiders." Right. It was like that when I saw Carl, and I brought you in, and I went, "What do you think of that, Carl?" I could see the look on his face that he d he was disturbed. Sure. And then, as he said. You get used to it, don't you? Yeah, you get used to it. And, y and you have changed a little bit. Your hair's a bit smarter now, and you've got some nicer glasses and that, I think. <laughs> or I might just get used to it. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! Don't bring it up, Steve. Don't well, look at me like that. So you say that you think some other people in the office thought the same? Do you know that for sure? Did you discuss it? Carl. Yeah, I think I think they do, yeah. Okay, leave it there, then. But not just in the office. As, as you watch through <laughs> the <laughs> It's worse than you ever thought. Well, no, it's not worse than I ever thought because, as you well know, Ricky DeVries, <laughs> yeah. uh, what did I do on uh, Thursday morning? Oh, is this the thing? Uh, for those uh, that perhaps are, are not of the female persuasion listening, there's a magazine. Apparently, it sells quite well. It's one of the sort of female, you know, kind of uh, issues magazines. I think it's called Company Magazine. You know, it's like your sort of, I guess it's a bit like your Moore or your Vanity Fair or yeah. whatever. Anyway, they run every year. The 50 most eligible bachelors in Great Britain section. Ding dong, hello. Who's in there this year? In the f in the 50, in the top 50 of the entire country. And then they vote, they vote, and they put them in order and see who is the most eligible bachelor. But that's of, that's 50 people, right? Most. I mean, the I. It always annoys me slightly because bachelor, it 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 kind of seems like a more sophisticated word for loser. Yeah, it? No. Which always sort of And also slightly. they try and do a different 50 every year, so they're but getting pretty desperate to get different ones. No, you know, no, it's no, not no, many, no, no, Because no, also no. a lot of people who are sort of like successful, uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, are married, so there's very little to... No, no, go no, on, no, then. no, there's a no, there's a huge... I don't know if this is international, it could even be international, I'm sure. not sure actually, so sure. I could be up there with the likes of Justin Timberlake, sure. etc. So, uh, Fred Durst. Yeah. That sort of person, you know. So anyway, l l this is what's exciting, right, although I'm slightly frustrated because they were telling me that last year, all right, uh, they get because what happens is the all, the readers of the magazine they vote for who they think is number one most eligible bachelor, right? Last year, the uh, the prize was a two week trip in the Bahamas. Okay, this year I'm rather annoyed because all I'm going to win is a moped. That's whoa, the prize this year. Whoa, whoa, That's whoa, the prize this year. Whoa, 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 backtrack. What? Sorry, last year was a two week trip to Bahamas, and this year just what? a moped. I'm all, all I'm going to get is all a moped. you're going to win is a moped. Yeah, I'm you're so not, you've got no chance. You You've got enough. no chance. Who else is in it? Who else is in it? Well, I mean, I don't know lots and lots of people you never heard of. There was, I know Duncan from Blue. Ding. Was in this. So, no. it, so you're second to him at least no. already. I imagine you're you're gonna come behind the other forty nine. Mm -hmm. So, uh, mm -hmm. but, 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 because you know, there are people voting for me. They yeah, get to vote for me. Yeah, Steve. They I see was, my, they see my photo. And then they can vote for me. Yeah, according to he, I was twenty second most sexy man in the world. I better take that helmet back. I would. ICDC. Brilliant. You shook me all night long on XFM 104.9. Well, this show is a rockin'. It is. It is. Mr. Javay, Steve Merchant, Carl Pilkington. I came up with a new, uh, um, strand for Carl as well. He likes, he's always got, you know, we've done, uh, I don't think there's a week gone where we haven't mentioned an airy kid. A hairy right? child, yeah, you're on. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and, uh, some related to a monkey and that. And I thought you could do a regular thing where he's got to come up with a story about a, an ape or a, a, a monkey, and it's called Chimpanzee That. <laughs> of course. Of I, course. Have, I have got one, but I can't remember it at the moment, so I'll just. It'll come to you whenever you join the yeah. show. Well, listen, while you're thinking about that, while you're stewing on that, here's a, a problem that someone's emailed in. <laughs> We're taking uh, emails today. If you've got a problem, a concern, um, or, you know, just a general query that you think Carl could answer for you, it could be about anything. It could be about some of the big, kind of philosophical questions. Yeah. Um, it could be uh, you know, something to do with war or famine, anything like that. Or it could just be a personal dilemma, you know, something that's happening locally. Anyway, this seems one that I think you probably have 
you and your father have probably come across this sort of dilemma in the past. Mm. And I'd be interested to know what your take is on it. Uh, let me see, this is from Lee Matthews by the look of it. He says, he lives in a suburban area where the local teenagers uh, also live on the same road and they're running riot. They're smashing wing mirrors off the cars, they're crashing into parked cars on their skateboards and they're just generally making hay mayhem, you know, night and day. Uh, what can he do to stop this going on? Uh, the parents of the kids don't seem to give a damn. Anyone who complains to them, they just say, I'll oh, piss off. You know, the police are useless because they never catch them in the actual act of violence, which is what they've got to do to uh, apparently convict them. So uh, they, they don't know who to turn to, really. It's rather like when a little old lady went and got the A-team, you know. It's, a, it's a great note, and he was dressed as an elderly Chinaman. Exactly. She knew, she knew who he was. Colonel Decker didn't have a clue. Yeah. See, it's weird, because now, now it has got out of hand. Sure. You know what I mean? Like, years ago when I was growing up on the estate, um, yeah, you had problems, but not like you have now. Do you no. know what I mean? Mm. Um, you know, some were nice as well, weren't they? <laughs> well, it did seem that way, didn't it? Yeah. Right, and police are getting short or anything. But you yourself kind of admitted in the past that you were something of a tear away. Didn't, you didn't do anything yeah, like never, these kids I mean, here. The but the thing is, I was I was scared that if I got caught doing it, my dad would go mad. Yes. And I remember smashing a car window by accident and legging it in the lounge and sort of pretending to go asleep on the settee. <laughs> Genius. And I heard a knock at the door. He chloroformed thought, himself <laughs> just to be unconscious when his dad came home. And there was a knock on the door and I thought, <laughs> oh God, this is the fellow who saw me. I was chucking a stone in the air, seeing how high I could throw it. <laughs> of course you were. It came Did it keep landing on your head? <laughs> <laughs> that would explain a lot. <laughs> and, uh, it, it came down. Chucking <laughs> a uh, stone in the air, love it! <laughs> See how far it's I could throw brilliant. it. brilliant. So, you know, uh, I wasn't bothering anyone. Did you invent it. that game? Right. Did so you get anyway. a stone for your birthday? <laughs> <laughs> go and play with your stone. <laughs> he gave one to Suzanne. <laughs> Carl, go and play with your stone. <laughs> <laughs> you know, the thing is, right, and it came down at a fun funny angle. And it ate of course it did. It ate the back of this, uh car and the, and the back window is the most expensive because it has that heating thing in it yeah, in case yeah. you got a frosty window. Yeah. So I thought, oh god. <laughs> so I legged it in, got on the settee, went to sleep, knocked out the door. <laughs> Genius. It's <laughs> a brilliant plan. It's a brilliant plan. <laughs> I couldn't be guilty. I'm asleep. <laughs> so, so, I love the idea. So uh, the thing is our lounge used to sort of, you could, you could see in from the door, right? So this family <laughs> who, uh, <laughs> I've saw me do it, let, saw me asleep on the settee and my mum said, go and get the door. And I sort of went, oh, as if I'd been asleep. Yeah. I went to the door, like, rubbing my eyes, and, uh, the fella said, what did you run off for? I saw you. I was like, oh, no. And I didn't see me dad. I went out. It was when he was working, sort of, evenings. So I went out so I didn't have to see me dad. And then the next day I came, I came home from school, and my dad said, 45 quid. Oof. That's all he said. That's all he looked at me. And then you fell asleep when he went, wake up, wake up, you know what I said, no, <laughs> yeah. 45 quid, no, the thing Carl, right. he, he didn't have to do 45 anything. pounds, Carl, now I know you were saving up for a brick, <laughs> but you can't have it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But do you know what I mean? It's like, I knew I did wrong, uh, and I was scared that my dad was gonna belt me. Yeah. Yeah. So I was like, oh, you know, I'll be more careful next so time. But that was that. clearly good parenting on the part of your father, because these young tykes, that clearly they don't have the, uh, what the, do you do? the, the father's support. I don't even know, I, I don't know if, if I If you were living help. in that street, very quickly, what would you do? What, what, would, what would your approach be? If you were living in his street? What if, what if they'd come over and they'd, they'd just vandalised all your pebbles, right, yeah. that you'd been saving over the years and just threw your gravel away? What would yeah. you do if they just... I'd probably clout one of them. So you'd use violence? I think it's the only way sometimes. Sometimes <laughs> the only way. And I, don't, I don't mean, you know, really bad, but I'd, I'd show them that I'm not putting up with this. Right. And th then the problem is you've got their family coming round and they're probably quite Go to sleep. Yeah. If you hit a kid and the dad comes <laughs> down, just go to yeah. sleep. Yeah. Just to, <laughs> so, yeah, Equally, um, if you're doing a bigger crime, you know, yeah. a bank job yeah. or a murder. Remember to take the stocking off your head, because they yeah. wake you up and go, why have you got a stocking on your head? Just go, oh, I had a weird dream. It won't work. It's like with, with our kid, right? He was, um, I told Ricky about this the other day in the, uh, in the pub. But he's- Is this your brother? He never, yeah. Cause he, he was a terrorist, wasn't he? Well yeah, a little bit, but it he was more- He did drive a tank down the, the high street once, didn't he? Yeah, that's when he was in the army. <laughs> yeah. But, but, uh- Another story. But, but this time, I remember, um, <laughs> my mum and dad were going out, right, for the evening. And, um, I must have been about, I don't know, five, so our mark was like, I don't know, s probably eighteen, so yeah. like seventeen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. So my mum and dad go out, and our mark says to me, right, uh, here's a deal, do your little deal. I'm gonna have a load of, uh, women round. <laughs> <laughs> right? Uh, deal is, I'll let you have your tractor in the house. Wow, he had a tank, you had a tractor. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 
But I mean, yeah, but his brother didn't have the rocks that Carl had. No, no. So he needed the so tracks to put his what toys along. What kind of a man was he? He brought a bunch of women, Rain. So, yeah, there was loads of- but do you know when you're a kid you don't think, ooh, I know what they're up to. You're not bothered, are you? Do you know what I mean? You, as long as I've got my tractor, I'm happy. Yeah. So I was- I was- well, he actually hasn't changed a bit. But how many women did he have? Was it just him and, like, a bunch of women? Yeah. Was it like, what, what's his name? What's his name? Look like Nedwell from Confessions. Yeah, yeah, Confessions yeah. of an older what, brother. What, just came around and he, he liked orgy. his women. He li oh, seriously, right, my mum and dad had to move because they got sick of women coming round saying, I've got a kid and it's your marks. They had to move because it got that bad. Do you know, did you hear, when you were playing on your tractor and there was women running back and forth in underwear, did you ever hear this noise? <laughs> Did yeah. you ever hear that? Or kind of wow 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 and just see your brother's arse disappearing down yeah, the exactly. thing being chased by a butcher? Did you ever- <laughs> it's, it's not important, is it? <laughs> That's, is that what it's gonna be like, do you think, when I'm voted number one most eligible bachelor in Great Britain? <laughs> yeah, and you're coming on your moped. <laughs> I mean, no, am I, am I gonna get a tractor? <laughs>